Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here at a very busy Blackpool Zoo where there's been an escape. Yes, I'm here at Blackpool Zoo, the entrance. And by the way, this used to be Stanley Park Aerodrome. Yeah, you know these buildings here? A lot of these buildings are hangars, yeah? For the old aerodrome, yeah. And they even used to build Wellington Bombers right here. But they've had an escape. Yeah, so what's happened is a pelican has escaped, folks. Yes, a pelican. It's a brown feathered pelican. It's only a young one. It's only 14 weeks old and somehow it escaped the enclosure where it was. I think it got onto a roof. It hasn't had its wing clipped and it got onto a roof and then got spooked by some seagulls and it's off somewhere out there in the Fylde coast. And it's been missing now for more than 10 days. Look at all these cars piling into the zoo. Wow. It is really, really busy. Anyway, this pelican is now, like I say, it's been missing for over 10 days. Uh, but it has been spotted in places as far off as Granny's Bay down in Lytham and all the way up to Fleetwood. Now, Blackpool Zoo are very keen to get this pelican back here because it's only young and it might not be able to survive out there on its own for very long. So what I thought I'd do in this video is I'd take a little trip around the Fowl Coast and we'll see if we can spot the pelican. I've got some binoculars. Let's go on a bit of a tour, an expedition of the Fowl Coast and see if we can spot this bird. Wouldn't it be awesome if we can find it? Okay, now the first place I'm gonna check is just across from Blackpool Zoo. It's Stanley Park, there's a big lake there and pelicans like to fish, don't they? It's a massive bird, by the way. It might be a young bird, but my goodness, it's a huge bird, not used to seeing anything like that around here. And what we'll do then is we'll head down to Granny's Bay if we don't have any luck there. And we'll have a look around there. It shouldn't be too hard to spot a pelican among the local wildlife, should it really? Oh, it's kicking off in Blackpool. Actually, it's just an ambulance. We are near the hospital, but we're going to leave Blackpool Zoo behind. Ooh, look who's back. We're going to go just over the road to Stanley Park and see what wildlife they've got in there. See if we can spot a pelican. Wouldn't that be something? Look how busy this road is, wow. So we'll leave the busy road behind and we'll head in here to Stanley Park where we get a bit of peace and quiet in here. So we'll have a look around the lake and uh, see what we can see. There's going to be lots of wildlife in here. But I think that a pelican would really stand out. What do you think, folks? Now, I think the first sighting of the pelican was actually in here. But since then, it's travelled to a lot of other different places. And uh, we're all... It's made the national news as well. Yeah, I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. But uh, we're now just coming up to the lake here at Stanley Park. It's a massive lake, by the way. Uh, let's have a little look over here, shall we? Let's see what we can see over here. OK, so let's take a closer look over the lake and uh, we'll see what we can see, shall we? I'll put the telephoto lens on so you can see what I can see. I'll tell you what, this is going to be really tough, folks. We need everybody to be looking for this pelican, but at the moment all I can see on here are coots. We've got quite a lot of coots down here and just over this way we've got some on this rail here we've got some black-headed seagulls so no sign of a pelican around here well here's some of the local wildlife here at Stanley Park some ducks here I'll tell you what those sirens are <laughs> constant like I said before we are near the hospital so we're just making our way around Stanley Park Lake. There's some pretty big birds over here. Let's go and check these out, shall we? Yeah, it's swans. There you go. We found some swans. Now, swans are a pretty big bird, but they're not as big as a pelican. OK, so no luck on this part of the lake. I'm going to take a look at the other side of the lake and we'll see what's going on over there. But it is, it's going to be pretty tough, isn't it, to find this pelican on my own. I think everybody should know about it and we should all try and find it. Now, they almost caught it when it was at Granny's Bay. The zookeepers came down to Granny's Bay near Lytham 
and they nearly caught it but it got spooked at the last minute and flew off. Okay so we're now at the main part of Stanley Park Lake here looking across towards the bandstand in the distance let's have a close up and see what we can see here. Well we can see some more swans and we can see some more of those blackhead gulls as well. There's a lot of different ducks out there as well. Yeah, I can't see any at the moment, but there's lots of different types of ducks here at Stanley Park, but no sign of that pelican. Okay, now I'm just leaving Stanley Park now. No luck here, but it's going to be really, really hard. It was only a quick look as well, but it's got to be out there somewhere, folks. And uh, like I said, they'll be really, really happy to get it back to the zoo because they are a little bit worried about how long it'll survive for you see on its own anyway i'm going to head out to granny's bay now it's down at lytham it's a bit of a drive from here but it's a really nice area so let's check out granny's bay you never know Okay, so I have made it down here to Granny's Bay near Lytham and uh, that was a bit of a drive folks. Yeah, it was a good half an hour's drive from Blackpool Zoo and the pelican has made it all the way down here because it was round here that they almost captured it. The zookeepers almost captured it before it flew off. But it's a really nice part of the Fowl Coast and uh, there's lots of wildlife around here. And I'll tell you something else, the weather's turned out really nice now. So let's have a little look around here and see what we can see, shall we? Yeah, so this is Granny's Bay, folks. Can you see over there in the distance? The white church, yeah. A marble church. How about that? Very, very fancy. So this is Granny's Bay, folks. And like I say, there's lots of wildlife around here. Just over there is Fairhaven Lake, yeah. So there's loads and loads of wildlife around here. Will we spot a pelican? You know, all this sea wall here was replaced uh, a few years ago. It's all pretty new looking. But as we look across the estuary, we can see Southport over there. Wow, what a view of Southport. It is so clear today unbelievable nice and clear for spotting wildlife and we've just we've just gone past high tide the tide's on its way out now i'm just going to head over to the other side and fairhaven lake and we'll see if we can see anything over there there's a lot of people around here as well which means that if there is a pelican around surely someone would see it and report it Okay, so we're now in Fairhaven Lake Car Park. And uh, it's actually got a bit of a reputation, this car park, after, after dark. But we won't go into that in this video. But as we look over this way, we've got Fairhaven Lake. Look at this. Can we see the pelican? Around here. You know, it actually looks a bit choppy out there on Fairhaven Lake today. Yeah, there's a bit of a breeze. Anyway, let's take a look over this side, shall we? Look at this, they've got an RSPB visitor centre here. And there's even an arrivals board here, this, which tells you the birds that they have. That tells you when they come, it's a bit like, a, like an airport, like you know that when the flights come in flights going in and out there they've got the arrivals board there it lights up with the names of the birds and uh, just over here we've got um, a list of birds that you can see around here uh, little egrets grey heron pink footed goose red shanks oyster catchers turnstones swans plovers coots more hens they've got it all here but have they got a pelican well Still no sign. So we've had a little look around here at Granny's Bay and Fairhaven Lake. Just a quick look at where the, the bird was last spotted. 
and I'm going to head back up the coast now towards Blackpool. We'll have a look in Blackpool, shall we? Oh, by the way, if you've got an electric car, you can charge it right here. But you need to have your own cable. Yeah, these are not the fast chargers. Anyway, it's time to head back up the coast to Blackpool. Check out that sunshine now. I have come up the coast here to Blackpool. Yes, sunny Blackpool. We've got the world's largest mirror ball behind me. What a massive beach. It, what a job we've got trying to find this pelican. We're going to take a little look out here on the beach, but I'll tell you something. It's going to be like finding a needle in a haystack, even with the size of this bird. So if it hasn't been found by the time you're watching this video, if you're coming up this way, be sure to keep a lookout for the pelican. Hey, I tell you what, I think I need one of these things to help me get around and look for this pelican. What do you think that would really, really help? Hi to the fan there, that I'm uh, just speaking to there, the chap there. And um, so this is uh, Blackpool Beach or part of Blackpool Beach. Now that pelican could be out there somewhere. What do you think, Bill? Oh my goodness, what a task we have got to find this pelican. How are we going to find it? So that was a very, very brief look at the beach here in Blackpool. It is a huge beach and it has been spotted in Blackpool, I believe. But the last time I think it was spotted was way up the coast in Fleetwood. Could we find it up in Fleetwood? So we'll leave the sunny skies of Blackpool behind on the world's largest mirror ball and we're going to head up the coast towards Fleetwood. It's a bit of a long way. Okay, so I have now made it up to the final destination in our search for the lost pelican from Blackpool Zoo, and this is Fleetwood. I'll just turn the camera around and show you what it's like around here. Check this out. I am at Rossall Point, and this is the Bird and Coast Watch Tower. Yeah, so they must have some nice wildlife to see out here. Wild fowl, should we say? Look at this beach, it's absolutely massive. I can see Barrow and Furness right over there. I can see the wire light that way, the ruined wire light that I've walked out to. When was that now? Is it in May? Yeah, what an amazing sight, folks. But just look at the size of the beach. It is huge. How are we going to find a pelican out here? Well, I thought I'd give you a look around while I'm here. I've got the uh, zoom lens on. I can't see a whole lot of wildlife out there at the moment, I'm afraid. I can only really see seagulls. There's no sign of a pelican at all. But we're now looking towards barrow in furness like i said before now that big mountain at the background is called black comb yeah so that's looking towards the town of barrow in furness it looks so close you can almost touch it just look at this view of the lake district oh my goodness the fells i mean it's not even that clear at the moment it's uh, but can you imagine what it would be like when it's nice and clear on a crisp day yeah, amazing. And here's a close-up of the ruined wire light, which I walked out to a couple of months ago. Yeah, that was a bit of a trek. I don't advise anyone to walk out there on their own because it's a long way out and there's sinking sand out there. It's a bit dangerous. Yeah, so that's the Russell Point Tower there. Quite an impressive building, isn't it? Yeah, and you can go in there anytime daily up until four o'clock i'm afraid it's too late now it's not open now at the moment could have probably gone in and had a look through some of the binoculars to uh, get a close-up of some of the wildlife out here but there's not a whole lot going on at the moment i'm afraid the tide's out so i can't see a whole lot into there was anything out there it'd be a long way out so nothing around here i'm going to take a little look further along the, the coast 
and uh, we'll see if we can see anything up there. Fairhaven Care Home. Well, we're a long way from Fairhaven, where we was a little bit earlier. Down there in Lytham, I'm now up here in Fleetwood. I've moved up the coast a little bit from where I just last was there at Rossall, and I'm now by this uh, lake here. Look at this lake here. There's a bit of wildlife in here. We've got seagulls. Got a blackhead gull over there. I tell you what, those blackhead gulls are really aggressive, you know. <laughs> Can you see a pelican though? I can't. Fleetwood Model Yacht and Powerboat Club, that sounds like fun. It does look a bit choppy out there on the on the lake though, but I'm gonna head onto that bridge there and we'll have a look on the other side and see what we can see over there, shall we? Okay, here we go folks, I'm just gonna have a look up here on this bridge. That's where I was over there, looking into the sunshine. Whoa, I'm dazzled. And I know the seagulls will not like the pelican. They will chase it off in numbers if they see it. But we're just looking down on the other side and I'm afraid no pelican. So there you go, that was my video, the search for the lost pelican of Blackpool Zoo. And I'm afraid we came up with a blank, but I tried. I went to all the locations where it was seen. We went to the, the zoo itself, we went to Stanley Park. We then went down to Granny's Bay and Fairhaven. We zipped up to Blackpool and we finished here at Fleetwood. And I'm afraid we've come up with a blank folks, but I really hope they find it. If they haven't found it by the time I put this video out, please check on the news and see how they're doing. And maybe you want to, if you're up this way, you might want to check out and see if you can find it for yourself. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.